BMW is allergic to just riding Fev on the boot with of its plug-in hybrids, so it christens it like a knockoff MP3 player instead. Fortunately, the new 530e doesn't bear the clunky eye performance legend anywhere outwardly visible. What sort of plug-in hybrid have we got here? Fast one? No. Not in the mighty, all the power flagship vein of the new Porsche Panamera Turbo SE Hybrid. The 530e is on a par with their regular 5 series models, and at £43,985, its price tag is slap bang in the middle of the 4 cylinder 530i petrol, and the straight 6540i. Convenient. For that, you get a 181 bhp turbocharged 4 pot engine, and a 94 bhp electric motor that squeezed directly into the 8 speed automatic gearbox. When both power sources are working at their most effective rate, you've got 276 bhp to call upon, and a very meaty 310 pounds foot. However, straight line urgency is more junior hot hatch than four door hypercar, with the 530 arriving at 62 miles per hour a sensible 6.2 seconds after setting off, and topping out at inadequate but not highbrow raising 146 miles per hour in other words, it's quick enough to hold its own as a 40 grand exact express, but this isn't a test bed for a hybrid M5. Did someone say drift? Really not that kind of car especially not on winter tires, as tested. The 530A has, in fairness, survived hybridization with handling intact more successfully than say, a VW Golf GTE. It weighs 1,770 kg to 155 kg more than a 530i, but the increase has been cleverly cloaked in the 530E, so it corners with more prowess than the canal boat you might expect get brutal with the overly light steering and it'll heave hole like a well-oiled dad on a wedding dance floor, but like I say, nothing about the 530e's power delivery, or its largely exceptional refinement, or sumptuous cabin encourages any kind of heavy-handed pretensions. The play value comes in hypermiling, weird as that may seem. Anything else? Pity there's no estate. BMW points you towards the X540e if you want paled with your parsimony, but right now, there aren't too many rivals in Europe for this thing. Audi won't have a new A6 e-tron here for at least a year, and Volvo is taking its sweet time about bringing the T8 twin-engine-powered S90 hybrid to the UK. Mercedes will sell you a hybrid E350e, the petrol electric E-Class, which has very similar vital stats to the BMW. So which one you fancy will likely come down to badge preference. Both have the same advantages, and the same old predictable plug-in pitfalls. <laughs>